Going in, bro. Okay, thank you, thank you. How was the show? How was the show, uh, Magic? It was amazing. Houston is always amazing. I love you, H Town. Yes, sir. How's it took? My back from MBK to MB Riders to the Magic City. Yeah. For all my girls in Houston, because you're always so pretty. Uh huh. Got some uh, gifts from the fans tonight. You know, a couple little bracelets. Yeah, man. So how's how's the whole tour been? It's been it's been a busy year for us. You know, uh, the only year that was slow was uh, 2020, and that's when we started our makeup line and uh, and uh, you know, the website sales really turned up. Mm -hmm. So even in 2020, we figured out a way to win, and uh, you know we're just blessed. We're just blessed. The fans continue to love the music. Uh, it's 2022. Some of these songs came out in 19. Yeah. In 1995, 1994, 1992, the fans still love them like a brand. How does it feel like to have that, the same, the, the, how does it feel to still have that impact, not only on your generation, but this newer generation of hip hop fans? It's a blessing. It's a blessing. I really, I don't take it lightly. I, I'm very appreciative that the fans are there. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a testament to the fact that good music lasts forever. Yeah, timeless. Timeless. I got you. Okay, and can we get your top three favorite Mexican rappers? My top three favorite Mexican rappers. Let me think about it. Definitely my bro Secan. Yeah. Uh, from Guadalajara. Secan is pretty amazing. Uh, who else is Who else is a dope Mexican rapper that's amazing to me uh, that I really like? I really love Quito Soul. Quito Soul okay. does really amazing. I love them. And 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 I and I go in, in, in a hard third place for originality. My bro Zachwood. Zachwood. Okay. Ackwood, okay. Zachwood, not Zachwood. Zachwood. My bros, Zachwood. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna definitely check them out, man. Um, and let me ask you this, man. Uh, over here in Houston, in Texas, you know, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of uh, Mexican artists coming up, and you know, some of them use the N word, you know, and that's been a that's been a you know a, a huge uh, a topic uh, uh, lately. How do you feel about Mexicans who who use the N word? I think to each his own. Yeah. Uh, you know, if if the brothers grew, grew up in the neighborhood, and and that's that's part of their language, and that's what they do, and their friends, uh, uh, you know, go that way, then, and it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if that, that if they're a product of that surrounding, and and they and they, you know and they live by that code, mm -hmm. that's on them. You know, every every neighborhood in the world got their their own way of uh, of uh, of handling any situation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In India, in India, or in India, or maybe like in, in, in Iran, you know, you can marry a girl as as young as nine years old. Yeah, yeah, it's different. Yeah, <laughs> that's 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 yeah. way more crazy yeah. than 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 uh, than uh, I, I I say uh, choice of words. Not only not only that, it's a word that's got a lot of pol uh, polarization to it. But in my personal opinion, to each his own. Okay. To each his own. If if it works for him, you know. I ain't got no problem with it. One big uh, uh, Mexican artist from, from Texas, from Houston, uh, you know, is, uh, you know, SPM. SPM. I'm not sure if, if you guys ever did work before in the past, but what are your thoughts on, on SPM, the South yeah. Park Mexican? Um, I did meet South Park Mexican before uh, he went to jail, and okay. uh, we talked about doing music together. He had an amazing, uh, an amazing uh, upstart, and oh, yeah. he, his, his career was about to be bigger than, than anything, and, you know, unfortunately, he disappeared. Uh, but I but I like SPM. He you know he his choice of words, his relatability, the way he was able to describe the culture in a way that made the culture proud of it. Yeah. I mean he's an amazing guy. Man. Would you be open to working with him when once you know when yeah, he gets yeah, released? I, yeah, I love SPM. Yeah, I, I love SPM. Okay. I've done I've actually done some work for him while mm -hmm. he's locked up. Uh, but it, it wasn't a song, you know, he just needed some other work done. Mm -hmm. I also do uh, commercial production, so he asked me to take care of some stuff for the Day of Unity. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right then, and, and as far as you and what you got going on music-wise, uh, what can we look forward to? Uh, music-wise, my son Antonio right here that you see in the Astros jersey. Mm -hmm. I see him, okay. He just dropped his first single ever. He's been working with, with his dad for a long time, mm -hmm. and we finally recorded his first uh, single. It's called... Um, Perdóname. Okay. Yeah, it's a remake of, uh, oh, yep, of yep. Vivo Sesto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, come here, baby. Come here. Tell the camera what's going on with your new single. How's <laughs> it going? Uh, Antonio Cardenas here. Uh, the single just dropped. It's a cover of uh, Camilo Sesto's Perdóname. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I'm really excited about what's going on. I'm excited to, to start my journey in, my, uh, in the music scene, in the music career, show you guys what I'm about, show you guys what's going to come, and mm -hmm. just kind of take off with Nasty Boy Records and, and 
it's gonna all be right. exciting. I hope you guys enjoy all the projects we have coming and everything else to to blow up for us. I yeah. hope. And right. having a dad, you know, who's a legend, you know, uh, does that does that put is that and do you feel any pressure, you know, uh, doing when when, you, when you're creating music? Um, no, I don't feel any pressure because I know he's a. Uh, He's gonna be he's gonna be proud of what I can do and he's always gonna have my back and he's always gonna be there to help me with what mm -hmm. we can do. Okay. Yeah. And where can they find you on the on the social media? Um, right now on social media you can find me on Instagram at T underscore S R E M M. It is gonna change to, to Antonio Cardenas okay. official probably. Mm -hmm. It's in the works, but right now T underscore S R E M M T shirt. Gotcha. Thank you, thank, thank you. you guys. Any last words for the fans, uh, Magic? Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you for coming out tonight. The crowd was so beautiful, so amazing. If you guys didn't get none of that footage, you probably didn't pay to get in. <laughs> Peace.